Hi, I'm Kayla, and this is my story. Please like and subscribe. My dad used to be a basketball player for the national team, but he had to quit after a serious sports injury and a permanent limp. But he didn't give up his passion and became a basketball coach. He was my inspiration to always work hard. Always remember, Kayla, the harder you work, the higher you go. I was a very tall kid from the start, and while everyone around me thought I was a little weird, I loved and embraced my height. Hey, how's the weather up there? The weather is great. The view, not so much. When I turned 10, I got into basketball just like him, and I loved it. I worked really hard, and by the time I was 16, I was the best player in town, and also won a sports scholarship to a great school, which was in dad's old hometown. On my first day in my new high school, everyone stared at me, but this one girl, Heidi, was the weirdest. She was the mayor's kid and a total brat, and even worse, she was on the girls' basketball team, too. During the first day of practice, the coach introduced me to the team. Kayla's one of the best players in town, and we're lucky to have her on the team. As if. I can take that giant down in one shot. Excuse me? Did you say anything? I was just saying that being tall doesn't make you the best player. I have the skills to beat you. Really? I'd love to see you try. Heidi and I had a one-on-one -on -one match, and I totally owned her. The coach was super impressed and asked me to take over as the team captain. I was over the moon. Wow, that was impressive. I looked behind to see a cute guy towering over me. For the first time ever, I'd seen a boy taller than me. Well, uh, thank you. I don't think I've ever seen Heidi get this angry. You did a fab job. I'm Jay, by the way. Jay was in my class and the captain of the boys' basketball team, not to mention the hottest guy around. After that day, Jay and I started hanging out a lot and even trained together in school. By the time we were in our senior year, Jay was my best friend and we were always together. Things were great, and when I broke the record for highest baskets in a season, Jay was the first one to cheer for me. Wow, look at you. You had a great season. <laughs> well, thank you. It wouldn't have been so good if it wasn't for your grueling training. Well, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure to work with you. As we were talking, I opened my locker and was bombarded with glitter shots. My clothes, face, books, and even Jay's clothes were covered in pink sparkles. Wow, looks like you have a secret admirer. More like a hater. We both know who this is. Oh my god, just when I thought you couldn't look any worse, you show up in a full face of glitter. Is that a new makeup trend? For losers? I wouldn't know since I just had the perfect season. How was yours? Scored any baskets? Ugh, cheeky are we. But hey, look, you've ruined Jay's clothes too. Just like you're ruining his reputation by hanging out with him. Why don't we ask him? Don't look at me. I just want to get changed. I am terribly late for class. As Jay left, Heidi stared at me with death in her eyes. What is your problem? You've been after me since the day I came here. I want you to pay for what your dad did to my dad. What? What did he do? And isn't your dad like the mayor? Yes, he is. But your dad made him miserable in school. He was a bully, and I'm going to take his revenge on you. Someone's got to pay. I think you're confusing my dad with someone else, weirdo. I walked off quickly. This girl was crazy and just making things up. My guess was that she hated me, mostly because I was close to Jay, and she had the biggest crush on him, which she didn't hide. A few days later, while I was in the locker room changing, I heard Jay screaming my name. What's wrong? Why do you look like someone stole your Air Jordans? It's not funny, Kayla. Do you really mean it? How am I supposed to know? You tell me. Did someone steal your Air Jordans? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this note you left me. And I understand how you feel, but this is all just a bit of a shock to me. I was so confused until I took the note from Jay's hand and saw that it was a love confession from me. And I didn't even write it. I had a feeling Heidi had something to do with this. But before I could say anything, I saw her walking out of the gym. So I just grabbed Jay by the collar and kissed him. Wow, that was... Weird, I know, but just play along. Heidi's watching us. I'm sure she's the one who sent you the note. This is nonsense. Look at the handwriting carefully. It looks like a first grader wrote that. I've seen her assignments, and trust me, she writes exactly like that. Besides, do you really think I'd write such creepy, cheesy stuff? Yeah, but why would she do that? She likes you. Isn't it super obvious? And maybe she thought this note would make you freak out. But the joke's on her. I'm sure her butt's on fire. So you don't like me? 
And this note is just a stupid prank? Of course, what did you think? Yeah, of course. I was sure it was a joke too. Hmm. Just then, the craziest idea struck me. We could totally pretend to like each other to piss Heidi off. So for the next few weeks, every time Heidi was around Jay and me, I would hug him or loop my arms in his and pretend to be lost in love. Oh, Jay, your eyes remind me of basketballs. Ew. How about this? Kayla, every time I see you, I feel everything is perfect, and I can stare at you all day deep in those perfect brown eyes. He was just being lame, but somehow it made my heart skip a beat. How was that? Enough to convince her? Now, if we're done, let's go to class. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> totally. This continued for days, and I could tell that watching me and Jay together as a couple was burning Heidi to a crisp. She was so distracted by everything that her game was at an all-time low. And even the coach decided to bench her for the upcoming championship. Don't you think we've gone too far? We should just let it go now. But the fun's just begun. She's always been mean to me. Have you forgotten the days when she ruined my new shoes? Dad got them for me after saving for months. And what about the time she burned my jersey and the coach screamed at me? She deserves it. But pulling a prank on her only makes you more like her. Think about that. Jeez, relax. You don't have to go all Buddha on me. Besides, it's only for a few weeks. She can stay distracted and I'll perfect my game for the championship. Only the best player will get to go to a college with the prestigious Stanford scholarship. So that's what this is really about? You want the scholarship? That's not what I meant, Jay. Yes, of course I want the scholarship because I'm not as rich. But you know what? I get it. You're right. It was me who got mixed signals. Mixed signals? What did he mean? I wanted to ask him, but before I could, he flung his bag and walked off. When I tried calling him that evening, he totally avoided my call and didn't show up to school the next day. Or for a whole week after that. I left him a text, and all he said was that he was down with a bug. I was sitting in the cafeteria one day watching my favorite MSA videos, when suddenly Heidi plopped her butt next to me. Trouble in paradise? Where's your boyfriend? Who? Oh, Jay. He's not well. Oh, but I saw him at the party last night, and he looked fine to me. Did he finally realize you're too trashy for him? Or maybe he finally got tired of looking at your dumb face every day. Who knows? I got up and left but I felt bad about Jay lying to me. He said he wasn't well. Then why was he at a party? Or maybe Heidi was just lying to get under my skin. I had to confirm it, so I went to his place to check on him, but security told me he wasn't around. And the next day when Jay showed up, he totally blew me off. Hey, where have you been? And why aren't you answering my calls? Because I didn't feel like it. Now, can you move? I'm trying to get some practice. The championship is coming soon? Oh, you would know that since it's so important for you and your precious scholarship. Are you still hung up on that? I said, I'm sorry, Jay. I didn't mean it like that. Is she bugging you? Is my coochie coo honey bunny getting annoyed? Jay continued shooting as I stared at Heidi in shock and then burst out laughing. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, that dumb dress you're wearing or the fact that you just called Jay all sorts of marshmallow names. Oh, I'll tell you, the funny thing is, that you're out of the picture and I am Jay's girlfriend. You're what? Oh, please tell me this is just one of your dumb pranks. Can you both take your crabby fight somewhere else? Some of us are actually serious about this game. But you can't date her. Really? Why not? What's wrong with her? She likes me. I tried to think of a better answer than she's a witch, but just then the coach walked in and asked us to get ready for practice. And then there was never a good time. He was either busy with basketball practice or that leech Heidi was always around him. It made my blood boil. But with the championship coming up, I had bigger fish to fry. I started practicing day and night till my body was sore, and it really helped me to keep my mind off the whole Jay situation. One day before the championship, I was walking home when I saw Heidi and Jay outside a cafe. You have to stop looking at Kayla like some lost lover boy. You need to look happier being my boyfriend. I'm only with you because I don't want to mess up Kayla's scholarship. I didn't know I had to look happy about it, too. Fine. It's not like I'm really into you, either. I just want to make Kayla suffer for what her dad did to my dad. And I know she's hating seeing how close we are now. So you better keep up the act. Just remember, all my dad needs to do is place one phone call, and no good university will take her in. She can kiss that scholarship goodbye. Whatever. I'm here, right? 
I wanted to slap the daylights out of Heidi. But just then, Dad called, and I had to rush back home. And I really needed to ask him what he did to Heidi's dad. Oh, God. That was such a long time ago. Yeah, I went to school with her dad, and we used to bug him a lot. He was always trying too hard to fit in and getting everybody to like him. But he wasn't a nice guy. Maybe I wasn't very nice to him either. But it was decades ago. He's ten times more successful than me now. Looks like he's still holding on to a grudge, and his stupid daughter is taking it out on me. I couldn't sleep the whole night thinking about the whole situation. Jay was my best friend, and that witch was blackmailing him into dating her because of my scholarship. I had to put an end to this. So the next day, I walked straight up to Jay. Kayla, this is the boys' locker room. You need to dump Heidi. I heard you two talking by the cafe last night, and I know she's blackmailing you with my scholarship. But Jay, you don't have to do this for me. And stop blinking like that. You're freaking me out. I... I just don't know what to say. Listen, Kayla, the scholarship is important to you. And if I can keep Heidi off your back for a couple of days by doing this, then what's the harm? I don't like it. I can't see you two together. Why? Jay looked into my eyes, and I could feel my body melting at his touch. What was happening? I wanted to say something, but it was like words had fallen out of my brain. Was I falling for my best friend? Just then, his teammates called him and Jay left for his match. I waited by the courtside to talk to him later, but as soon as the match was over, Heidi leapt onto him and I couldn't stop myself from pushing her away. What the heck? How dare you touch me? How dare you touch him? I know you're just blackmailing him into dating you, so please, why don't you save face and get lost? Jay, you don't have to date her for my scholarship. But don't be stupid, KK, or you'll end up losing everything. You can take away a million chances from me, and I'll still make it because I know I'm talented, unlike you, who always gets everything because of your father's money. Oh, sweetheart, money speaks for itself. And right now, I can hear it saying that you've lost your chance of ever getting into a good college. Heidi stomped her feet and left, but I couldn't care less. I was about to confess my feelings for Jay, but before I could, the coach called me for the match. That evening, I played the best match of my life and also ended up getting the Best Player Award. I had no idea if I'd get the scholarship, but at that moment, all that mattered was that I was happy with Jay by my side. A week after the match, I was waiting by the lockers when Heidi walked up to me. Hey, loser. I told you you'd never win the scholarship. Why do you look shocked? Oh, you didn't see the list yet? No. I'm shocked because you're still talking to me after I royally kicked your butt last week. Yeah. And so what if she didn't get the scholarship? She did get selected for the Nationals. I turned around to see Jay smiling down at me. What? I got selected? Yeah. And you'll be the team captain. Coach just told me about it, so I thought you should hear the news from me. This is the best day ever! And you didn't even have to date anyone for this. Ugh! I hate you! I'm gonna tell my… Dad? Dad? We, we know. know. Heidi left red face as Jay turned to me. So, that was dramatic. Not as dramatic as your whole, leave me alone, Kayla. Oh, shut up. You act all smart, but you couldn't even figure out that I, I... Like you? You knew? No, but I know that I like you too, and if I have to date someone, why not my best friend? <sighs> not that easily. You'll have to take me out in basketball first. You're on.